The word for today, anchors for your soul, three. Third, anchored by God's promises. The third anchor that gives us confidence in a crisis is found in Paul's words. I have faith in God that it will happen just as he told me. Acts 27, 25. If you've been betrayed by an unfaithful spouse, you may have lost trust in marriage. If you're a victim of the mortgage crisis, you may have lost your home and your trust in the financial industry. If you voted for someone you believed had integrity only to discover they were in the pocket of special interest groups, you may have lost your trust in government. But never ever lose trust in the promises of God. Look in the face of your storm today and sing the words of this famous hymn by Russell Carter. Standing on the promises that cannot fail, when the howling winds of doubt and fear assail, by the living word of God, I shall prevail, standing on the promises of God. You may lose your cargo, you may lose your ship, you may even go overboard, but you're going to prevail because of God's promises to you. As the old saying goes, God said it, I believe it, and that settles it. If you're in crisis today, here are some Bible promises to stand on. The eternal God is your refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. Deuteronomy 33, 27. You have given me your shield of victory. Your right hand supports me. Your help has made me great. Psalm 18, 35. Even to your old age and gray hairs, I am he. I am he who will sustain you. Isaiah 46, verse 4. That's the word for today.